in this video. This is video number two of the Systems of Equation series and we're going to look at substitution. This is going to be a basic example but as we progress through this series we'll see even more difficult examples. Now back in video one this was to motivate the idea of what a system of equations is and if you go back and check that video out we found that this ordered pair was a solution to this system of equations. Now our goal is to figure out that order pair. What number X can we plug into these two spots and what number Y can we plug into these two spots to make these equations work? One technique is called the substitution method. There are other methods that we'll discuss later, but the substitution method is a great candidate for this particular problem because we have a variable by itself. Notice we have x equals 4y minus 2. Now this topic can be a little bit hard to grasp, especially if you're, you know, new getting into algebra and whatnot. But with a variable by itself, if x equals this stuff, we can take this stuff right here and we can plug it into x in the other equation. Now I want you to think about that. Let's just suppose that x is equal to 2, for example. Now, we don't know that here, but uh, if x equals 2, we could take 5 times 2 because x is 2. Now, we don't know that, but that maybe will, uh, you know, get you onto the right track of saying, okay, x equals something, we can take that and plug it into x. With that in mind, let's do what I was talking about at the beginning. Since x equals this stuff, let's take this stuff and let's plug it into x. So I'm going to rewrite this equation here and we have five times that stuff. And notice I am writing it in parentheses because it's five times this stuff. We're going to have to distribute right here in a moment. And then let's bring down the minus six Y. I'm just bringing the rest of the equation down equals 18. And I want you to notice what has happened here. In our two original equations, we had two different variables in each equation. We had x's and y's in the first equation and x's and y's in the second equation. Now, this equation down here, once we applied this substitution here, we now have an equation that has just a y in it. And now we can actually solve for y. Let's distribute the five. Five times four y is 20 y. Five times negative two is negative 10. Bring down your minus 6y and bring down your equals 18. Now we want to work on getting y by itself. What I would do here is combine like terms. 20y minus 6y, that's 14y. Bring down your minus 10 and this is going to be equal to 18. So let's get this y by itself. Let's add this 10 here to both sides. That's going to cancel out the 10 on the left hand side. And then when we bring down what we have left, we have 14y is equal to 28. And then finally, 14 times something gives us 28. And in this case, maybe you do know that 14 times 2 gives you 28. But uh, if you didn't, we can divide both sides by 14. So the 14s cancel out on the left-hand side, and we have y equals 2. Now, we are not done with this problem. We have found one of the numbers in our order pair. Now we need to find the second number in our order pair. Well, in this case, notice this first equation we had here. We had x equals 4y minus 2. And since we know y equals 2, we can take that 2 and we can plug it into y because y equals 2. So therefore, we have x equals 4 times that y value of 2 minus 2. And if we work this out, we get x equals 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. So this is our value of x. Therefore, our solution should be, now don't get your order pair mixed up, it needs to be x comma y, so 6 comma 2. And before we end this video, what you need to be doing with these problems as you start working them out, you need to check your work. So let's do that right now. Four times y minus two should be equal to x. Four times y, our y value is two. Four times two is eight. Eight minus two gives us a value of six. And notice x is equal to six. 
perfect. It works for the first equation. Now make sure it works for the second equation. Five times X, five times six, right? X equals six. Well, five times six is 30 minus six times two, cause Y, Y is two. Well, six times two is 12. 30 minus 12 gives you 18. Perfect, this does work. And this is the solution to our system of equations. Now there are other approaches that we're gonna cover in this series. We're gonna look at elimination, we're gonna look at graphing, and we're gonna look at even some calculator techniques later on down the road. And uh, yeah, we're gonna build up towards word problems as well. And there you have it, video number two of the Systems of Equations series, a basic example of substitution. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.